Good morning everyone, welcome back to Ellie Pops Bespoke YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Barbie inspired bow that I showed you in the last video. So I've got all the materials I need for it now. So obviously I've got my plan for it, which I'm just going to sit in front of me here. I need my alligator clip. This is a 75, it's a 65 millimeter alligator clip with the teeth. Scissors, my bow templates, a pen. I've got these felties to go on top. And I've also got the fabric. Now we're going to be using the turquoise glitter to represent her bodysuit. The pink uh, satin for um, her belt and the little pink bits, the shoes and things. And then I've got this gorgeous pastel candy stripe to represent her leg warmers. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to decide which colourway we're going to go. Now, this is going to be on the bottom, I think, because we're going to do it this way. I'll put the template along it that way for her leg warmers. So that is going to be the bottom template. Then we're going to do, I think, a pink layer in the middle. And we're going to do a blue one on top because then we're going to use the pink to stand out and do the belt around the middle. So first things first is to draw around all of these templates. So now all these have been um, drawn round, we're just going to cut them out. Now all the pieces are cut out, we just need to pop them all together and make the bow. So first things first, we're going to glue the pink middle one. Just a bit of glue in the middle there. Now this is felt backed fabric and I find that the glue does sink into the felt a little, so I do put more glue in the middle of these ones to stick it down and hold it for a little bit longer. So if you do have felt back fabric, just be careful of um, the glue just sinking in through the felt. You might need to just use a little bit extra. Now the blue one, the top part, that doesn't need as much glue on it. Making sure not to flatten those sides. Keep them nice and plump. And then we will pop them on here. Now, I have noticed with this, I've got five to make, so I might do them a little bit different, but this fabric does have a yellow stripe in it too. And I didn't check the placement. Now, I would like a little bit of yellow actually in the stripe so next time I cut one out I'll make sure to do it and place it so that it is got some of all of it I mean it doesn't really matter but I would like to use the yellow next time so just think about placement so we're just going to do a little bit of glue in the center of that one and stick the big middle part of the bow template like that and I like how we've done the horizontal stripes as well, because if they were vertical, you wouldn't see all the colours. Again, making sure that it's nice and plump and not flat. And then just a little bit more glue in the middle there for this top piece. Again, making sure you're pushing down in the middle and not on the sides. I like those to be a little bit more plump and not so flat. Once these edges go flat and creased, 
it's quite hard to get that loop back. So try and just keep them as plump as possible. Now it's time to put the clip on. So put glue all the way across and then just flip the bow over and pop the clip on. Now, I don't put this exactly centered. It is more to this side because I think I've said this on a few of my videos. When you are opening the clip to put it in your hair, if this was centered, you'd have to reach right in and press it. And some people even squash the bow to do it. Now, I advise that you tell your customers to open the clip just to pinch underneath that loop there. You can see. Don't pinch on top of the loops or you'll flatten it. So just pinch under the loop on the tail to open it. That's why I off center it and move it over this side a little bit, just so it's easier to open the clip without squashing the bow. So now I've cut a centre strip. This is around 10 millimetres or a centimetre wide. And we're just going to do the normal trick. We open the clip. We put some glue inside it in the middle of the bow. Just going down the side a little bit. Then we pop that centre strip in there and close the clasp. And pull it all the way around. And then if you've cut it too big, we just cut off the excess in line with the edge of the clip. So I usually run the scissors down the groove of the clip where the teeth are and just cut through there. And then we sort of open it up a little bit. I've got my, my finger resting on the bottom there and we're just gonna put some glue along there. Not too much because you don't want it all to seep out onto the bow and ruin it. And then we just wrap it around the center. Now I've wrapped that a little bit tightly and there's a bit extra hanging off. So what I'll do is just scoop up that extra glue, lift the clip and I'll just cut that excess off. I just need some sharper scissors. like that you notice I do have two pairs of scissors there I have um, some just regular kitchen scissors to cut through the glitter because it blunts my scissors and I've got my scotch titanium scissors to cut um, fabrics sort of like this one the sharper okay so that's basically the Barbie bow done we're just going to pop the Barbie head on it. Now, I don't know if to do it in the centre. I think the centre might look quite nice. But then it covers up this part that we did. I think it just wants to stick on the edge there like that. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to just pop some glue. I don't want to put glue all over this felty, so... I'll look where that is along this part of the bow and it looks like from the top of the head there all the way down the centre there it needs glue. So that's what I'm going to do. Just like that. And then stick that onto the bow. Maybe put it at an angle slightly. And just make sure that is stuck down onto the glitter. And there we go, a Barbie themed bow. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now I will pop a link in the description of the video to, um, I've got an Amazon link where you can get fabric, scissors, clips from. I'll also pop a link in the description for the felties, where I get all my felties from. And there's also some links to my social media, my Facebook group, um, all sorts of things like that. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already. So you don't miss a uh, notification. Turn on the notification pressing the bell. Um, I am going to show you in the next video how to make this Bo Peep bow. That's coming up next. 
uh, probably later today. So hopefully you subscribe to the channel, pop a comment, because um, it helps the channel a lot with the interactions, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you like, all helps the channel. So yeah, hope you like it. Let me know what you do or don't like, what you would change, what you would do differently. And hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.